Hey guys, and welcome to another vlog. It's been about six months since my last vlog, and so obviously this is a regular thing for my channel. But I've got some exciting things on this week. I've also got a bit of a slower week as well. I've taken some time off work, and so I figured I would share with you just how my slower week goes. So yeah, just usual vlog thing. I have no real plans, but I'll just sort of see where the week takes me. In the meantime, this is my new coat from The Curated. It's in their chocolate melange colour. This was sent to me by the brand yesterday and I'm just sort of playing around with outfits because I have a dinner with them tomorrow night. I'm gonna wear this. But yeah, I have to do all of the things that you should do when you buy a new coat. This is the outfit that I've put together today. I'm wearing an old Everlane knit with my Nobody Denim jeans, my Aaron Williams boots, my curated coat, and my Gucci bag that you would have seen me pack. Meanwhile, I've been sick all week, but this is the first time that I've put on proper clothes and I've put on my face. Anyway, today we have planned to pay a visit to the art gallery and we might even go visit a museum. We're definitely gonna get some nice lunch to eat. And so, yeah, let me take you along with me. Meanwhile, one of the very limited pros of being unwell is that I haven't been able to film any reels because I haven't really been getting dressed. And so my wardrobe has remained rather tidy. I'm gonna take that as a bit of a win. day working. I've curled my hair. I did it in my lunch break and I am going to wash my face and put on my makeup very soon and just ease into the night because I am having dinner tonight with the founder of The Curated along with some awesome women. I'm gonna vlog everything. I say this, I might be very rubbish at it, but that's the intention. I'm just trying to get everything done at the moment and just have a relaxed night so that I'm not spending the night thinking about all the things that I didn't finish during the day. Get this face party started. trying to work out what to wear. At the moment, I haven't got it down yet, but I'm thinking either a dark knit and white pants or dark bottoms and a white knit. Two very safe options. And then I'm gonna go to town on the accessories. Okay, so this is how we're tracking. My coat with my Arquette black knit and my trousers. These are from The Fold. And I've got my really stylish Nike socks gonna switch out to heel soon but yeah I'm pretty happy with this it's very simple but I feel really sophisticated and stylish and most importantly I feel comfortable so yeah this is me the bag oh, I just walk into all the things that I've laid everywhere as death traps bag is going to be my Gucci horse fit bag my Gucci 1955 bag I think the colors work very well but yeah I'm gonna have a play with gold accessories and see how I go 
Honestly, accessories make such a difference. I've got my earrings, this simple chain and my ring. And I said I would go to town. I'm gonna go to town. Pretty festive, I reckon. I think I should probably finish my makeup now just to make me look a little bit more complete. And I forgot to do like a full outfit shot, but I am wearing my Dior shoes, which I will, I don't know, gracefully show you like this. My Dior slingbacks! Huzzah! My husband and my boys, uh, they're going to drive me tonight to the event, so we get to have a little chat before I go in, and at least I get to see them before they go to sleep. The next time I see you will probably be at the festivities. Look who I found! It's Jamie! We're in our matching London coats. So we're gonna go in and see how it all is. Jamie and Helen and meet Nicola for the first time properly. Yeah, I'm on a high, definitely counting my blessings. Anyway, I have the kettle boiling downstairs, so I'm going to get unready, get into my PJs, and then chill on the sofa. Meanwhile, this is my existing curated bag. This is the classic bag, and this is the new one that I got tonight. So now I have both sizes which means I'll be able to do comparison for you. I'll also be able to share with you what fits within each. a few things this morning so I'm feeling very good very productive when I say I've done a few things I've woken up I've had a coffee I've dropped off one noodle at daycare I've gone to Woolies <laughs> meanwhile this is my hard-working outfit this is our boss lady's dress meanwhile need to fold that I'm gonna push that aside you might think that I have dressed like I have given up on the world 
but being your true comfortable self really empowers me to conquer the world. Having said that, I'm now going to get out of my world domination clothes and get into some normal civilian clothes. Uh, so I'm going to wash this face, put on a new face and get dressed. held up pretty well after a night of sleep. I love how on day two of curls it looks like a really lovely 90s blowout. I am going to get dressed now and I'm going to film a reel in the process so I will have several devices on the go. Fun! Outfit that I have settled on for the day. Very warm and cozy on this winter's day, even though it's really lovely and sunny, it can be quite chilly in the shade. So, my curated coat, which you are now familiar with, this is the curated knit. I'm wearing an Arquette tee underneath, I'm wearing my no body denim jeans and Birkenstocks, and my Gucci bag because everything is still in there from last night and I can't be bothered changing bags this morning. I also filmed a reel and I went to town on the poses and the struts. So I will have fun in the cutting room, working out which poses to feature. <laughs> the filming of reels process is rather intellectual. I take about 10 minutes to get dressed and at the end I go to town with about two minutes worth of stupid poses. And depending on my mood at the time I'm editing will depend on which poses make the cut. So that's a little bit of insight into what's going on in the mind of me. Anyway, we're going to go about our day. I think we're going to hang a little bit at home. So I'm going to take this coat off probably, put it on again when I am heading out. I'm very pleased with this outfit. I love the colours. Very how now brown cow. Machigato cheers! <laughs> Machigato. In our classy Macca's cups. How does it taste? How's your Machigato without the matcha? Good. It's day nine and we're eating. The last time I vlogged, we were at this restaurant too. I had to pull a lot in this moment. sharing with you what fits inside each of these curated bags that I have. So it's the same style bag, but I have it in two different sizes now, thanks to the dinner that I attended. So this is the mini size, which I received, and this is the original size. So I've already got a review of this on my channel, which I will link, but I have a few things, a few essentials that I usually pack in my handbag that I figure I'll pack with you just to show you how much room is in each because I am pleasantly surprised with how much the mini actually fits. And so let me just share with you. Firstly, here's how they fare on top of each other. So there is a bit of a size difference. The closure mechanism works exactly the same on both as well. The strap situation is a little bit different though because the larger size comes with a shorter shoulder strap which um, is interchangeable. You can just attach it via these buckles. Whereas the mini size only comes with this one strap but it is adjustable as well. You can't wear this one as a crossbody whereas you can wear this as a crossbody as well as on the shoulder however you desire. 
The internal configuration of each of the bags is different as well. And so the larger bag has more of an accordion style with the compartment situation. There's also a zip section here. I don't typically use these sections. I just mainly use the main compartment. Whereas the mini size only has the one main compartment. And because it doesn't have all of the internal configurations and that additional material inside, it's significantly lighter as well. Let me just share with you what fits. This is how I typically store my bags as well, just with the lining with the stuffing that originally came in because I just want to make sure that the bags stay in as good condition as possible. Okay, so this is the mini size. I'm going to pop in my Saint Laurent card holder, which is many, many years old. That's it there. I'm going to pop in my phone, which is the iPhone 14 Pro, not the Max version. AirPods Pro, my keys. Okay, so that's the bare essentials and that is how it's shaping up there. I could probably also fit in mints like that on top close that up Robert's your mother's brother there we go off on my way pretty good in terms of capacity for a night out or for an event it definitely has event vibes because it's so simplistic in its design but it also holds quite a bit in my opinion comparatively let's pack the larger one take out the stuffing the additional strap Okay, so let's transfer all the things. Let's do this again. Card holder, phone, keys, mess, play Tetris, AirPods. A bit more room there. And then you've got the slit sections here to, I don't know, house love letters, receipts and whatnot. And there's additional room there to pack in some little makeup bits if you desire. Also some glasses as well. That's probably something that I wouldn't have been able to fit in with the things that I packed in the mini size earlier. And so the size that you choose ultimately comes down to what you're intending to use it for and how much you are intending to take with you for those particular things. So I think that this classic size serves really well as an everyday bag, a dressier everyday bag, obviously. It's very Celine-esque in its design, very timeless. Whereas I think the mini size is also a very good everyday bag, noting that you can't wear this one crossbody, but an excellent event style bag when you just want to take something cute and feminine and dainty. You want to break from, say, your Chanel Classic flap because it's maybe making too much of a statement. That's how I feel. This one is an excellent candidate. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up my video here. I had a lot of fun putting this vlog together, despite it being a bit of a hodgepodge of things, but I'm going to get better at this because I do have a lot of fun putting these together for you guys. Um, I will see you guys in a more structured video soon, I'm sure. Um, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!